I'm going to say Rishi Blackmore. I would put Mother's Finest on the cover because I feel like they're very underrated and not a lot of people know about them and they're fucking awesome. Mm. Um, funk Rock yeah. from Funk Rock Jump. <laughs> I'm gonna say Leaf Hound. Yes! They're an uh, awesome riff rock band from the 70s that kind of got, uh, you know, swept under the rug a little bit by a little of the major acts that, that came through with similar sounds, so we'll go with Leaf Hound. Well, I'm gonna go with Crab Love, the guitar player. Rips, super Hendrixy style. Um, he went on to do Black Crow stuff, and I think he's playing some country bands now, but you know, one of my biggest influences was him as a kid, you know. And, uh, yeah, cry of love, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, a lot of the, uh, the bands that I listen to from the classic rock era are the ones who probably have gotten a lot of notoriety and recognition. But I think in, for an individual musician, at least from that time, I think John Paul Jones, a bass player for mm -hmm. Zeppelin, did not get enough recognition at the time. He's gotten more now because of them crooked vultures and everything like that. But I think he's definitely one of the most overlooked musicians out there. You know, um, I will go with a band called Knit Singer. Uh, I've only heard a couple of their tunes, but they're awesome. Uh, they got a song "Louisiana Cockfight," and it's really super cool. And I kind of wish that there was a lot more of that. More cockfight. More cockfight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, man, shit, there's so many, I feel sorry for the bands I don't pick, um, I mean, Graveyard is definitely like yeah. the, my favorite, um, band that's out right now, um, really just phenomenal songs and really raw. Unique um, too. Yeah, it's like the, that guy's voice. He sings fucking so high, but he's like he's been eating glass for two years. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's awesome, dude. It's really, like, really, really good shit. So great job. Um, we were just talking about him a minute ago. I'm gonna go with King. Uh, they're uh, friends of ours from uh, uh, from LA, I think. Right? They're, based out of, they're based out of Los Angeles. Killer musicians. I uh, play awesome music. And uh, they're, just a, they're just a badass band and really, really, really awesome guys. Yep. Thin Lizzy Jailbreak. I mean, that's just a fucking. I, I've been getting more and more into Thin Lizzy, especially as I've been listening to a lot of them. And Jailbreak is an awesome album. Dude. Yeah. It's so, it's so good, man. I'm gonna go with. Uh, Betty Davis, not the white one, the black one, who did all kinds of nasty funk. Um, any one of her albums is really cool. She just sings about some vulgar stuff. I mean, she's got songs like Hoary Angel. <laughs> and uh, if I'm lucky, I might get picked up. <laughs> you know? And she's just funky as hell. She's yeah, she, was, uh, she was actually married to Miles Davis. I think so, yeah. 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 That's, that's weird. Like that's how she got her name. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I didn't know. Two Davises, man. Are we related? I don't fucking. Know. You're the white one, not the black one, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, Toad. Toad's uh, self-titled album, Toad. Um, another ob obscure band from the '70s, riff rock, and just you know, front to back is an awesome album. We have a very long list. <laughs> <laughs> Can we you narrow it down to no classic way. or modern? I guess classic, right? Yeah, I got this. Ted Nugent. Cause yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> I hate Ted. Any Kiss album, but fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Speech is an outro, no! Justice attached to her! 